All right, here we go. Uh, ladybug in the ladybug revolution and also in the 2D, it was very easy to see how the vectors uh, played out. Let's give it some speed and you'll notice that you've got a V for velocity. That's my tangential velocity. So it's gonna be tangent to the curve or perpendicular to that axis. Acceleration is gonna represent the centripetal acceleration. And that is going to be pointed right towards the center axis. Center axis, you might also see it called the moment or the moment of inertia. It's the point at which about the uh, body rotates. Uh, what was nice about this was we had two objects and you could see the difference uh, between the sizes or the magnitude of those vectors as you move further and further away. As you move further from the radius or increase your radial distance, you've got a larger velocity vector and even a larger acceleration vector. Let's take it one step further and show where some of these terms and values come from. So let's put the ladybug right in here, the default. And I wanna show the graphs that the instructions gave us. Uh, we were supposed to look at the angle, we were supposed to look at the angular velocity, and we we're supposed to look at the velocity. Um, we did not calculate um, tangential velocity, but by the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we could do that. Uh, this again, showed us our vectors when we played it, but I wanted you to uh, notice how if I hit go on my angular velocity, my angle starts to increase. My angular velocity is positive, my angle is positive, and it's turning in a counterclockwise direction. This is in reference to the zero degree line right here, okay? It's like opening up the angle. And if I wanna sort of quote unquote close that angle or go in the uh, clockwise direction, my angular velocity becomes negative. And eventually this will close back around. It keeps making 360 degree rotations about this frame of reference, this origin point. What's uh, cool to see is that angle started out positive. It's now turning around. It's gonna hit below zero if I let it keep going. Uh, the angular velocity started out positive. I slowed it down, turned it around to a negative value, and then it stayed constantly negative. Now the velocity of the ladybug, did not go negative or it always stayed positive. So generally when we measure tangential speed, we're measuring the magnitude of it, uh, which is one of the reasons why our book just calls it tangential speed and not tangential velocity. You can watch that graph as I turn the direction back and forth, positive and negative, that velocity never gets a negative value, but the angular velocity does. Okay, I'm gonna reset all of these. Okay, go back to my uh, settings that I wanted. And I wanna stress how you have angle. So as this sort of opens up, the angle increases and the angular velocity increases. That's the measure of the velocity um, in degrees per second. We can find uh, tangential speed or as they call it velocity here, by taking a formula that we did uh, last week. The tangential speed is going to be equal to the radial distance times the angular speed. So in this case, we're, we're given the angular speed. All right, it's right here. Let's say we wanna make it nice and simple, like 90 degrees per second. Let's hit go. And it starts to rotate about the axis. My vectors uh, show up, my velocity is tangent, my acceleration is centripetal, pointed towards the center or the moment. And the angle seems to go up, 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 up. I've got a little measurement here and it's constant. This is constant as well. And I can zoom in on that value. So it also gives me a numerical answer here. Okay, how we get to that numerical answer though can be a little confusing on this because what we need to do is go to the radians. Okay, it worked, it switched over to radians. So uh, your 90 degrees is equal to 1.571, uh, yes, 1.571 uh, radians per second, okay? So 
your formula would say that you need to measure the radial distance times the angular velocity in radians, and that should give us 3.142. So I'm actually going to slow the simulator down a bit and start replaying it, but I'm going to click ruler. Okay. Now the ruler is pretty flat. And I'm going to let the ladybug go till I can get her just about flat with that ruler and try to get the best measurements. Okay, starting from the radius. She's boy, oh boy, a little less, a little less than two meters. Let me make sure I'm right on there. I'm going to go ahead and estimate about two meters. Okay. So I'm gonna punch this values in my calculator. I'm gonna take the angular velocity in radians, the 1.571, multiply that by two, and I get uh, 3.142. Does that match up with this value? Yes, it does, 3.142. So that is my tangential speed. And if I zoom in, you see it's about at the three line. So it's 3.142 meters per second. So I just want to share that with you guys. And that should wrap up uh, what we're doing.